Okay, it's 5.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, August the 27th, 2019. I'm getting ready to head to the hospital to have the carpal tunnel surgery on my left hand. So, this is right before the surgery. So I'll be making videos uh, progressing uh, of the progression of uh, what happens from my carpal tunnel surgery so everyone will be able to know what's going on with it okay so it's uh, 7 30 uh, p.m. Uh, the day of the surgery um, I felt a little bit of pain uh, not a lot uh, mainly the pain was in the fingers uh, not where they did the incision my thumb hurt a little bit, but it's doing fine. My uh, index finger and my middle finger and ring finger was the ones that hurt the most. But they're calming down some now. And I can, I've got good mobility in my hand. This is just right after the surgery. I got out of surgery at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So it's only five and a half hours since I've been out of surgery. Is that right? five and a half hours since I've been out of surgery and I can move my hand good right now uh, so but that's uh, still not saying how it's going to be over the next few days so I'll keep uh, building on the video to let you know how uh, how it's going afterwards so uh, I'll keep you updated update on the carpal tunnel early surgery it's 5.17 the following morning. It was a bad night last night. It hurt so bad. I didn't get hardly any sleep. I'm going to try to go back to sleep. Yeah. My fingers are completely back to normal. Uh, but that hurts so bad to do that. Uh, it's hurting mainly right where the incision was now uh, in the wrist or uh, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than it is hurting now uh, they uh, they didn't knock me out for the surgery. I was awake during the entire surgery, which wasn't bad. They gave me some anxiety medicine. Uh, they draped, uh, or put, put a drape between me and my arm, and they numbed the arm and the, the hand uh, to do the surgery. And that, that wasn't that bad. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about a block or you know, coming out from under the anesthesia or anything. But uh, the surgery went well. Uh, right after the surgery was fine. Uh, even after the numbing medication had worn off, it was okay. Uh, the soreness had to set in. But it's, it's set in now, so I'll update again uh, later on today to let you know how the day is Okay, so this is an update on the uh, wrist surgery, the carpal tunnel release surgery. Uh, I had it yesterday uh, about noon. Uh, last night was bad. Uh, it hurt. It throbbed so bad. But today hasn't been quite so bad. It's hurt a little bit, but not much. And uh, I've got good motion in my fingers and in my thumb, but moving them makes my wrist hurt. Uh, I'll set that thumb down so maybe I can do this. Uh, right in this area, uh, down the wrist, he, when he cut it, he came straight down right here, and he made a turn now he came down this way I'm sorry and he made a turn back this way is what he said and right in this area is where it hurts the most 
Um, this finger up here was pretty bad sore, but these fingers are feeling good now. I mean, they have no pain whatsoever, and I can move them fairly decent. Uh, it's not uh, so bad of a pain that uh, you can't stand it. It, it throbbed bad last night, and it kept me up. I just got up and took another pain pill. Which, uh, so far now, I've taken uh, see four of those pain pills that they've given me. So, uh, and that seems like that may be the last that I'm gonna need of them because it's not hurting. It says sore. Uh, you know, it's sore, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, I can just feel, you know, something's been done. So uh, Friday, they said the bandage can come off, uh, and this is uh, Wednesday night. This is 10, 10.35 Wednesday night. So I'm looking forward to being able to take the bandage off and see what it looks like. Uh, he told me he put quite a few inside stitches in, and then he put as either three or four that went across, and from what it sounded like he was telling me, was that they're fairly long going across. He said that was to give it some support to help it stay shut while the inside healed up. So I'll see when I take the bandage off. I don't really know. But anyway, that's, that's what's going on so far. It's not so bad. And uh, when this one heals up, they'll be doing my right hand. And I look forward to it. I still don't know. I can't tell you whether it's worth it or not. Uh, I hear it is, but uh, I haven't experienced that yet myself. Whether it's worth it or not, I'll let you know when the time comes. So, okay, well that's it for right now. I'll update again later. Okay, this is uh, the 29th of August at uh, 10 minutes to 11 p.m. Uh, on the carpal tunnel uh, release surgery that was on my left hand. Uh, pain's almost nil. There's no, almost no, it's sore. Uh, right, especially right in the palm, it's sore. But it doesn't hurt like it was. So, and uh, he told me I can remove the bandages. Uh, so we're gonna look at it and see how it's looking. So here goes, we're gonna take it off. Oh, by the way, I do have good mobility in my fingers. And really, no pain whatsoever doing that. So this hasn't been that bad at all. Uh, it's nothing like what I was expecting. I was expecting it to really be painful. And I just hope that it's going to look good. So just in case I want to put the bandage back on there. As you see, I'm able to use my hand with no problem. He's got a lot of padding on here. Like I said, I'm going to roll this up to where if I want to put it back on there, I can. Sorry, I tend to get out of the camera. I feel a little bit of twinge uh, in the palm, uh, but uh, it's nothing. So if you're planning on having carpal tunnel surgery done, I wouldn't worry too much. It hurts a little bit the first night. Uh, well, actually, it hurt quite a bit that first night. It almost felt like a, a, a truck had run over my hand or something. But uh, that quickly went away. So it's, it's no big deal. And they give you pain medication to take care of that type of pain. And so. Okay, down to the last little bit. Boy, well, you wrapped it up good, didn't you? Oh, that's feeling a lot better already. 
Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of twinge of pain in that ball. So here it comes. Ooh. And then a bunch of it. Yeah, a little bit of bleeding. Okay, it's not that bad. If you can see it, I'll get this phone here. So it's, it's not too bad. There's no swelling. I mean, yeah, I can feel it. You know, I'm going to have to just take my time. That's all I can do right now. So, but that's, that's pretty good for, uh, it was Tuesday when I had the surgery. This is Thursday night, so, and I can already go that far with it. I'm feeling that in my hand, though. But okay, that's, that's it. So if, uh, if you're planning on having it done, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about the pain. Now, as far as uh, relieving that pain in my wrist completely, I don't know. We'll have to just give it time and see how that does. So, you know, I'll be having the surgery on my right hand probably in a couple of months or so, somewhere around there. Uh, so, I'll let you know by then how the left one is doing after that. So, thank you for watching.